Hello and welcome. This is Gaurav Hans, your SolidWorks Applications Engineer at DesignPoint. Today we are going to take a closer look at design optimization utilizing SolidWorks simulation. So as you can see on the screen here, we have quite a simple design of an L bracket here, which is our product that we are design trying to optimize today. Uh, what we are going to do is we are going to conduct a SOLIDWORKS simulation study on this L bracket by applying a fixed geometry on one of the faces and a load on the other side. And then we are going to analyze the results of that study to help us uh, optimize the design of the bracket. As you see, I have a study set up here on this L bracket. What I've done is I've assigned a material of steel AISI 304 to the bracket. Also, I've applied a fixed geometry on this top face, which will uh, prevent this bracket to move in any of the directions. Further, I've applied a load of 1040 Newton on this face in a minus y direction that is downwards. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click and choose mesh and run. As the study finishes, you can see from the visual representation of the stress that these red dots across this edge show us that there is localized high stress concentrations across that edge of uh, geometry of the product. Also, something to notice here is a high stress value of 8.49 e to the power 7 megapascals or Newton per meter square has been presented to us in the results. So in order for us to uh, redistribute the stress throughout the rest of the body, we will have to modify the geometry of this product. What I'm going to do here is I am going to introduce a fillet at that sharp edge in an effort to try to dis distribute the load across the whole L bracket. I'm going to create a fillet of 13 millimeters on that sharp edge. Now we go back and what we will do is we will re do, rerun the study with the new design. As you can see here, we have the new design with the fillet in it and we've gone through the same steps of applying material as well as we have uh, applied fixed geometry to one of the faces and we have applied a load of 1040 Newton to this face in minus y direction. I'm going to go through the same steps of meshing and run, running the study. Now what we're going to do is we are going to compare the results but before that uh, something to see here you can clearly see that a high stress value of 6.47 e to the power 7 megapascals uh, is being presented to us. As we compare the results for both of the studies we can clearly see here in the visual representation that the load which was earlier concentrated on that sharp edge has now been distributed throughout this face of the body and the rest of the geometry of this product. This is how SOLIDWORKS simulation can be quite useful for us in order to identify the failure points of our product and do product design optimization at an earlier stage. I hope this Video was quite useful to you. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.